remember you know, a while, you know, we used to train uh, at Christmas time when we were young with like the older players, um, you know, like Gareth Bale's age group, Theo's age group. We used to train with them a couple of times at Christmas, um, which was quite good. Uh, but then also, obviously, I cleaned Ricky Lambert's boots. So he came and spoke to me a few times, um, you know, gave me a bit of advice. And all the players that were in the first team when we were growing up were, you know, really good guys. You could go up to them, you could speak to them, ask for advice. It's, it, it's just nice for them to come and you know, almost acknowledge you at that age. Um, and it makes you want to be up there and it makes you idolise them more and want to be like them. So you, you know, you want to work harder to get to, get to that goal. It was West Brom away, but just the occasion for me, it was mad. So I was lining up at the start of that game, thinking this is actually happening. Um, so that for me was a was a pretty pretty crazy moment. But you know, I think when you're lining up on the pitch, you're so focused, you don't you don't sort of look and think, you know, um, you know, what, you know, don't look at the opposition and get starstruck. You're so focused on the game and. And, and what you want to achieve in the game, that you, you can't really think about that. The first time I came to the Arsenal dressing room and meeting everyone was a pretty, pretty mad moment for me. Sort of meeting all the all the big players there uh, for the first time um, was a pretty, pretty cool moment for me. I was a bit nervous. My first session, um, I remember we went away on tour, and. Um, Obviously, it was my first session with all, with all the boys, so I was like, oh, I want to make a good impression. So I was a bit nervous. And then we pulled up to the, to the training ground um, where we were. I think there was about 2,000 fans there watching. So that just made, that made it so much worse for me. I thought, oh, you know, I've got to, I've got to try and impress the, you know, the players and, and the fans here as well. Um, but yeah, you know, luckily for me, that, that session went well, which gave me uh, a lot of confidence going into it. I speak to Pear a lot. Pear's always there to uh, to help me out, and in training as well. If I ever need, you know, if I ever get if we're doing shape and training, and I'm a bit confused, or I want to ask one of if a Pear or Kashani or you know Gabby what they would do here, they'd you know always give me, they'd always tell me what they'd do, and then I'd learn from that. So it's always good to have them to learn from because you know they're top quality somewhere. It's nice to think that you, you could be a role model. Um, you know, which is why I try and stay as professional as possible. I think growing up, uh, our age group at Southampton was, uh, you know, we had a very focused age group. We all worked really hard. We used to get stick from the boys the year above us, calling us busy. But, you know, we just enjoyed it. We loved being in every day. We loved training every day. We'd do extra work. And uh, that's just carried on with me throughout my career. Just, you know, being like that, working hard, doing extra stuff. Um, so I think, you know, the main thing is to enjoy it, um, which is why I think it's so good for me because I enjoy it so much. I, I want to do more. I want to, you know, stay out, train longer. I want to work harder, which is only going to benefit you. It's nice to think that you know, kids sort of look up to you, and you know, you read your social media or like my social media, and you see people tweeting you, you know, nice things. So you know, it all doesn't go unnoticed uh, what's said on there. Um, so it is nice to think you know people are looking up to me. For more videos, subscribe now.